Like, and let me ask, let me ask you this: Jaguar, right? She seems determined to get Jay Z and Beyonce to fuck up out of here. How do you feel about that? Like, what do you think about Jay Z's connection to this whole shit with with this P Diddy scandal? I think Jaguar right when it comes to Jay Z and Puff. I think Jaguar Wright is a disgruntled employee. Let me explain. Mm, okay. And it has nothing to do with music. Okay. Let's Jaguar, go on listening. Jaguar Wright has already admitted that she's a previous, probably still a current sex worker. She admitted to this. Really? You know what I mean? She admit in the beginning, because I I I seen the bitch talking from uh, when she first started talking. She admitted to being a sex worker. She might still be a sex worker, but on in that the, Dallas, uh, on that on the interview from the niggas in Dallas, I, don't, I forgot where I seen it at. This was a this was a while ago though. I don't even think it was. I don't even think it was. But this was before she got on Real Life Street Star. But I remember her saying that she knew about the stuff that was going on in the industry because she was on some low key young Miami shit. She was like, "What's that white bitch that was getting the girls for Epstein?" She was like that. Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah, that's what she said. She said that she was helping the niggas line bitches up and shit. So what I think happened was they ain't want fuck with her no more. Okay. And she, and she was like, you know, she, you know, man, Jaguar Wright wasn't selling no motherfucking music. You know what I mean? She was talented, but she wasn't niggas then, you know. And yeah. uh, I think she was a disgrunt, disgruntled employee. Them young, them young girls or better looking women start coming through. Jaguar Wright probably hard to work with. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you got to move around. So, oh, oh, well, I'm going to tell everybody everything. And now she out here trying, she really trying to get a bag out them folks. She praying somebody give her some money to shut the fuck up. But what she going to do is she going to fuck around because she out there in Texas fucking around and the queen of the South going to get her head chopped off. Who the queen of the South? Beyonce. <laughs> Listen, y'all niggas talking about Jay-Z grimy and shit like Yo. that. <laughs> Boy, I believe Beyonce got ice cold veins. You think so? I bet Beyonce will cut a bitch head off with a machete. Why you say that? Because I'm looking to the eyes of this bitch. I know, guys. Man, Beyonce ain't no bitch to play with. Then she worth all that money. Beyonce look like she ain't got no motherfucking patience and no tolerance for that fuck shit. Beyonce do got a when she you look do at, got a nice little bank account on her. When you really when you look at her and Jay Z together, who the fuck is walking behind who? She's the leader. Beyonce the leader, not Jay Z. When listen, when I saw that when I saw that lawyer come out in Houston with all them people, I nigga that's Beyonce work, nigga. Beyonce from Houston. Beyonce run shit in Houston. Hmm. They setting up Megan the Stallion. That's what they they want Megan the Stallion to be the next hip hop Beyonce type shit. You know what I mean? Like Beyonce, Beyonce went and got they they sitting up there talking about Jay Z. Beyonce went and got uh motherfucking Megan the Stallion from that Carl nigga. So you, speaking of Megan the Stallion, did you see that girl Kelsey? She's in a uh, a a new ad, a shoe ad for Nicki Minaj shoes. Man. The, did you see that? No, I ain't know nothing about that, man. That shit crazy. <laughs> like, I, like, bro, it's bro, it's some weird shit that be going on, bro. Like this, I got, I, this I, supposed I, to be your partner, but you like you, you taking a bag from Nicki Minaj to promote her shoes. Like, what the fuck really be going on, man? Man, Me- Megan and Kelsey probably laughing at that bitch Nicki, uh, Nicki Minaj because she on cocaine and ketamine, too. <laughs> 